Hey guys, I want to do a quick review on the Rode NT1A microphone, condenser microphone, the world's quietest microphone. I tell you, it's really a versatile device, versatile microphone. I use it for all kinds of things in the studio, acoustic guitars, vocals, mic micing, um, amplifiers. It just works great for everything. In the package, um, basically, you get um, a couple things. You get uh, the microphone itself, nice, really nice shock mount, um, a pop filter that's integrated, which is kind of nice, a cover, and you also get an, an XLR cable. It's a um, cardioid uh, pickup pattern, which basically means it's got the, the pattern in front in like a heart shape. Um, it does not pick up from the back, so if you actually were to talk or sing from behind the mic, you don't, you don't pick it up as well. But let's just go over a couple of couple of things in this microphone. So here I have it set up on a uh, Tama Stage Master, a mic stand, pretty standard stands, like thirty bucks or something. You can see it's got a real nice shock mount. It's nicely made, made out of metal. Holds the mic very secure. Also has a um, this integrated pop filter, which is adjustable. You can see here it's got adjustments here and adjustments here, so. If, for example, you wanted to lower this down for acoustic for mi for making acoustic guitars, you can easily do that. And so it's it's very very versatile. Um, the front here, you see, there's a gold button in the front right here. That's basically where the main pickup of the mic is. So all the sound is collected from this side in a heart shaped pattern. And you could use this mic in various different ways. You could use it. Uh, you know, singing from far away, you can use it singing close to get different types of effects. So here's how I use the mic to, uh, to mic a bass amp. I've got it about 8 inches away from the speaker. Centered pretty much right in the middle of the speaker and it works just great. You might want to experiment with it, see what works best for you, but uh, I found that this works pretty well for me. You can see I've got the mic turned upside down just to make it easier to maneuver, but it works great. This is how I use the mic uh, when miking a, a, a guitar amp. In particular this amp it's a Marshall small Marshall 31 amp and I generally put it about right at 3 o'clock and about uh, 6 inches away from the speaker but you may want to experiment to see what works best for you alright so what I wanted to do here is uh, just do a quick uh, shock mount test on the uh, on the microphone as I said before it's got a very nice integrated shock mount um, it's made of metal pretty well constructed. Right now I'm recording about uh, a foot and a half away from the microphone through an audio uh, box, uh, 22 VSL PreSonus USB, USB interface onto Studio One. Uh, so I'm doing a, a real live recording. Also you get to hear a sense of how the mic sounds when, when you speak on it. And I'm doing this without any um, compression or EQ or anything so you can see it, hear it clean. Um, just again, so back to the shock mount. So you know, obviously, if I you know tap the mic, the mic stand real hard like this, it's gonna make some sounds, which you know you don't want to ever do. But for for light inadvertent touches, you can see it's the shock mount works quite well, keep uh, keeping the microphone isolated and uh, does an effective job. I really recommend going on Rode's site. They've got some great videos on how to use this mic, you know, how to get the most out of it. But uh, all in all, all in all, I can't say enough about it. It's sturdy. It's made well. You can use it for so many different things. Uh, highly recommend it. You know, if you're if you're looking for a mic at around 200 bucks that you want to use for multiple applications, it's really a great mic to have. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching.